let's proceed to the second problem, illustrative problem here. Okay. So a block of concrete weighs 100 pounds in air and weighs only 60 pounds when immersed in fresh water. What is the average specific weight of the block? So let's try to uh, have our notations here. So ito, so ayan, yung notations natin. I hope you have your modules with you, you know. But you can write on it, you, you may print it and you can write on it. Okay. So, yeah. So, we know that the unit weight of the, so since we are solving for the unit weight of the, the block, ano. So, ito yung formula natin to solve for the unit weight of the block. So, gamma of the block is equal to weight of the block divided by the volume. Okay. And the weight of the block is equal to the weight of the block in air. Okay, and so we weigh, usually weigh things in air, diba? So the actual weight of the block then is equal to 100 pounds, no? or that's equal to the weight of the block in air. Now this is our illustration. So the weight, uh, uh, nung nilagay natin, sila merge natin yung block sa fresh water. So ito yung schematic diagram lang natin. So scale or kilohan. So, may string dyan. So, para siyang spring balance siguro yan or digital balance. And then, yung globe mo yung block dun sa tubig. Okay. So, may reading ka dun. So, ang, ang reading dun ay 60 pounds. Ayan. So, yan yung weight ng block nung nasubmerge siya sa, sa fresh water. Ayan. So, this is our free body diagram. So, ito yung block natin. So, since the block is fully submerged, it is experiencing a a buoyant force which is equal to the weight of the displaced volume. Ayan. So the displaced volume in this case is equal to the total volume of the block. So ano yung mga forces acting on the block? Yung weight ng block mismo which is 100 pounds. And since ang naka-attach yan sa scale, so you may tension dyan, okay, that is equal to, so uh, syempre yung tension dyan, yan yung mababasa natin dun sa scale, it is equal to 60 pounds. Ayan. So, is our free body diagram. I-apply lang natin yung conditions sa equilibrium since the body is in equilibrium. We submit forces along the vertical direction equal to zero yan. So, from the, from the free body diagram, we know that the buoyant force plus yung weight ng block sa water is equal to the weight of the block. So, meron tayong two vertical upward forces here. And then, may, may isang downward force which is equal to the weight of the block. No? So, from that, let's try to expand this equation. Okay. So, buoyant force is equal to yung weight ng block sa water. Ay sa, yeah, sa water, is given naman for the 60 pounds. Equals dun sa weight ng block na 100 pounds. So, the buoyant force is equal to uh, 40 pounds then. Yeah. So, the buoyant force, we know that. So, ang kailangan natin para masolve yung gamma ng block is yung weight, which is also given, and the volume. So, gamitin natin ngayon yung, yung buoyant force para masolve yung volume ng block. Okay. So, since the block is totally submerged, displaced volume is equal to the total volume. And So, from this equation, so, one, uh, 40 pounds yung buoyant force natin is equal to gamma of the water uh, that is gamma of water fresh water is 62.4 pounds per cubic foot times the displaced volume ang displaced volume natin ay 0.641 cubic foot or cubic feet ano? so yan displaced volume is equal to total volume yun ang kailangan natin para masolve yung unit weight ng block ok so dali lang so, gamma ng block is equal to weight ng block, which is 100 pounds, divided by the volume na solve natin kanina using yung uh, buoyant force. So, that's it. The gamma of the block, or the specific weight of the block, block is equal to 156 pounds per cubic foot. Okay? So, very easy, yung number 2. So, if you have questions relative to this problem, you may comment your question in some my comment section. Thank you. And see you some next na problem. Okay.